What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be finishing the teardown of the Shark IQ. And we're gonna be going over a few possibilities of what will cause the grinding noise in your robot vacuum planer. So stay tuned. All right, so I've got the wheels out, the brushes out, the battery out, the dust bin out, the uh, side spinners, and the front bumper. If you did not catch those in my other videos, make sure to check them out. Now we're gonna use the T15 for one, two, three, four, five. Long shaft, you can get it at Harbor Freight, Amazon, Walmart. I have mine on a drill, which I just broke the handle off and stuck it in the drill. There's five, and then your front top is gonna come on. Flip it over so y'all can see. And there's two reasons for a grinding noise when your robot is running. The first one is the main brush roller which the IQ has a sensor in there in case the amperage does go up or the temperature goes up. So those don't fail as much, but we do get grinding noise from uh, the suction motor. If any sand gets in there, it will cause the bearings to wear out and just wear and tear in general will cause it to grind. So those are two things that you can replace. To replace the um, main roller motor, uh, main brush roller, cut the wires, pull it out, and just drape the new wire over the suction motor. It makes it a lot faster if you know that's the issue. Uh, in, uh, uninstalling the components in this robot are very simple. So go ahead and just pull out a few wires to so you can get to that screw right there. We're going to undo this Phillips head right here. This Phillips head right here. Now flip it over, undo these two Phillips heads. And if you need these, I do not have them listed um, just because I don't have a name to really list them under yet. So it's just one of those things I haven't found the appropriate name for these to be called. Why is that one not coming out? Oh, this one's gonna be. There we go. Pull up and pop out. Now, this can come out all free. And man, they did a terrible soldering job on that. And actually, this one doesn't have the um, sensor. <clears throat> so the 1001 which is, <clears throat> sorry, is the robot over there. It does have a sensor on this. That one doesn't. So that's good to know. I will have to update my listings to with and without sensors, or actually we'll just call it the 1000. So the 1000 is different in some ways than the 1001. So there, cut the wires, be good to go. If not, remove the motherboard and the suction motor and that's how you will get that out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope this helped. And as always, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below, and I'll try to get to them.